NASA scientists announced on Thursday that the Voyager 1 spacecraft officially is the first human-made object to venture into interstellar space. The 36-year-old probe is about 12 billion miles from our Sun. New and unexpected data indicate Voyager 1 has been travelling for about one year through plasma, or iodinized gas, present in the space between stars. Voyager is in a transitional region immediately outside the solar bubble, where some effects from our Sun are still evident. Voyager 1 first detected the increased pressure of interstellar space on the helisphere, the bubble of charged particles surrounding the Sun that reaches far beyond our outer planets in 2004. Scientists then ramped up their search for evidence of the spacecraft's interstellar arrival, knowing the data analysis and interpretation could take months or years. Voyager 1 does not have a working plasma sensor, so scientists needed a different way to measure the spacecraft's plasma environment to make a definitive determination of its location. The coronal mass injection, or a massive burst of solar wind and magnetic fields that erupted from the Sun in March 2012, provided scientists the data they needed. The Sun basically had an eruption in March of 2012, which was fortunately headed in the direction of Voyager. In about 400 days, it like a tsunami, it finally got to where Voyager is. It caused the plasma uh, to react in a way that it could be sensed, and we knew for the first time we were in the dense plasma of interstellar space, not in the rarer plasma of the outer part of the solar envelope. When this unexpected gift from the Sun eventually arrived at Voyager 1's location 13 months later in April 2013, the plasma around the spacecraft began to vibrate like a violin string. It turns out uh, this oscillation frequency is uh, directly related to the plasma density, the number of particles, say, per, per cubic meter. And that's a very important quantity to try to distinguish between the interstellar plasma and the solar plasma because it turns out for reasons I'll try to explain shortly, uh, the interstellar plasma is actually considerably, has considerably a higher density than the solar plasma. Uh, so uh, we can detect uh, these waves uh, when an oscillation occurs, kind of like a vibration uh, uh, in the uh, uh, plasma. 